Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Tina's. This is the Chimmy Steak and Cheddar Cheese Flavor. It's a Chimichanga. Keep frozen, cook and serve. So this is in the frozen section. Um, it's six ounces, 170 grams. There. Uh, we bought these at Meyer. It was $1.19. Not too bad. It's a pretty decent size. 15 grams of protein. It is 360 calories. I don't know how well you can read that, but it's 360 calories. There's the other information if you'd like. So, how do we cook these? Cooking directions. Pull this back where I can read them. Um, you can do them in the oven. Uh, if you want to, of course, we don't do ovens, but there's the directions if you want them. The writing's really small. They don't expect people that are half blind to read this. So, um, one minute and 55 seconds frozen, settings high. Place one chimichanga on a microwave safe plate. Uh, frozen one minute and 55 seconds, let product set. It doesn't say if you're supposed to remove it from the packaging. Um, Adjust time. I don't know. It just says place it on a plate. So I'm going to take it out of the package and we'll do it for a minute 55. So, I don't know. Sometimes they're not real clear on their directions. I know that seems silly, but do you take it out of the wrapper? Do you leave it in the wrapper? Sometimes it makes a difference. I'm going to take it out. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to get it in the microwave for 155 and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I, I cut it just to let it cool off, but so I can show you what it looks like as well. Let me turn it a little bit. Um, so that's what it looks like inside. I'm going to let it sit and hopefully it'll solidify a little bit more. Um, the tortilla is very soft, almost enchilada like, um, you know, where you get the really soft enchilada corn, uh, the tortillas. It's very, very, very soft. So I'm going to cut these into smaller, probably cut these in half, cut this again and cut that in half just to make a little more, um, bite sized pieces for the video. May have to get a fork though, if it stays that runny. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. I'll be back. I gave it just a minute to cool off. I am going to use a fork because it never really got firm enough to just pick up and eat like a like a typical like bean burrito would. So here's what I'm going to take. There's some steak in there, cheese, looks like beans. Um, here we go. Mm. I really like the flavors. It has a um, has a peppery like flavor, like peppers. Texture's okay. I wish the tortillas themselves were, which sounds funny because burritos and stuff always get hard and dry. This one's almost too soft and wet. Um, there's a huge hunk of steak on the end over here. I'm gonna try that. Now this is a piece I could pick up because there's not a lot of the, the sauce or whatever in there, but just see how soft this is. I mean, I can just tear it with my fingers. It's very soft. I wish it was a little firmer. It's not bad. It's just, I wish it was a little firmer. I mean, you don't get a lot of that, like, I guess it's a sauce, a liquid. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, when you don't get a lot of that, it just tastes like um, the tortilla and a little bit of the meat flavor. But when you get the sauce, it's got a peppery flavor. Yeah, the spice and the pepper really come through. Um, this one's okay. It's not, it's not my favorite. I do like the, um, I like the flavors okay. They're not really super exciting, but they're okay. Um, when you get a bite that has that pepper flavor, it's really good when you can taste those peppers. But um, for the most part, it's it's kind of plain. I hate to say that, but it is. Um, the flavors just aren't what I consider really bold flavors. Maybe I wish there was a little bit more spice in there. Yeah, it's kind of flat. And the, uh, the steak itself is shredded, like really um, thin little shreds. It's not ground up, which thank goodness, because I really wouldn't have liked it as ground up. But it's really, really fine threads, almost like, I won't say hair-like, because it's not quite that thin, but, but they're very, very thin. So I wish those were a little beefier, a little uh, thicker. So I'm gonna give this a three out of five. I definitely think it's good, but I don't think it's like top notch. Um, it's not quite a four or five, but it's definitely worth eating. Um, so if you hope you enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching.